Now the first step is to run gaming services repair tool. Now for this go to Xbox app top left click on profile icon and then go to support option. Click on gaming services repair tool and then click on start repairing. Click on yes to allow and let the repair complete. The repair will take some time and once this is done you can close this and then you can launch the game and then check still not working. The next step is to now dual graphic card user disable the integrated graphic card. You can enable it once you're done playing the game. Now for this make our active on the start menu and then go to device manager. Expand display adapter over here. If your computer has a uh, Intel or any integrated graphic card, you can make a right click and then you can disable this integrated graphic card and then you can launch the game. You can enable it once you're done playing the game. Next step is to switch to window mode, delete the config file, create backup first because all the saved settings will be lost. Now, to delete the config file, uh, open registry editor, Just type in RE registry editor in Windows search box and then click on registry editor. Click on yes to allow. Now over here, uh, you have to expand H key current user and then expand software. Now scroll down, expand. You will find team cherry folder expanded. Now over here you can see Hollow Knight Silk Song. Make a right click. First of all, create a backup. So you can make a right click, then click on export. You can set the location as desktop. You can name it as backup or whatever you want. Backup and then click on save. Now once done, uh, you can just make a right click over here and then click on delete. Click on yes to allow. And then you can uh, launch the game. You can launch the game and then check all the saved settings will be lost. Now, when you launch the game, uh, it will repopulate, the config file will repopulate. Now, if you want to import, you can, like if you want to get the backup back, you, you can just click on file, then click on import. And then you can select backup, and then click on open, click on okay. And here you can see the config files are back but I will delete it. So delete it and then you can launch the game and then you can check because that config file will generate once again. Now the next step is to run the game from the game installation folder. So instead of launching the game from here, just uh, select the game, make a right click on the game, click on manage or you can click on this three dots over here and then click on manage files, browse and then open the game folder, content folder. And over here you can see Hollow Knight Silk Song. You can just make a right click, click on Run as Administrator, click on Yes. If you face this error, just make a double click. Do not run as ad Administrator, just make a double click, launch the game and then check. You can even open this uh, game launcher. You can just make a double click on Game Launcher and this will also launch the game. So try to launch the game. You can run this as an Administrator and you should be able to launch the game. Now to run the game as an administrator, uh, you can also do this, Make click on these three dots, click on manage, now go to files, and, uh, go to general option and then click on create desktop shortcut. So click on create desktop shortcut and then go to desktop, you will see the shortcut over here, make a right click and then click on run as administrator, click on yes to allow and you should be able to launch the game still not working the next step is to log in with same account on xbox app and store so open microsoft store at the top right uh, you will see a profile i can click on it then click on sign off then click on sign in select the account which has the game or which has the game pass so make sure that you select the right account over here and enter your pin or password once logged in you can go to xbox app click on your profile icon click on sign off and then click on sign in Select the same account which you have selected in Microsoft Store and then click on continue and now you can launch the game and then check. Still not working, make sure date, time, time zone and reason is correct. Make a right click at the bottom right here you can see date and time, make a right click on date and time, click on adjust date and time. Make sure set time zone automatically, if this is off then turn it on. Also set time automatically, if this is off turn it on and then click on sync now. If you receive any error, click on sync now multiple times. Once the sync is done, go to time and language and then go to language and region and make sure your country is selected over here. Now the next step is to verify and repair the game files. To verify and repair, 
again click on these three dots manage go to files and then click on verify and repair click on yes to allow and once the repair is done now you can launch the game and then check still not working the next step is to repair or reset the game to repair or reset the game you can open windows settings and then go to apps and then go to install apps or apps and feature in windows 10 and find the game in the list so yeah once you find the game uh, click on the game and then go to advanced option scroll down over here first of all click on terminate and then click on repair and once the repair is done launch the game if that does not work click on reset reset once the reset is done now quit xbox app first and then relaunch xbox app once you relaunch xbox app now you can try to launch the game and then you can check still not working the next step is to perform clean installation of your graphics card driver so if you have nvidia card go to nvidia website if you have amd card go to amd website i am showing for nvidia so select your graphic card over here make sure that you select the right operating system and then click on fine and on this page you will find the latest graphic card driver at the top you can click on view and then you can click on download over here and once the download is complete run this exe file and then click on yes to allow click on ok and then click on agree and continue select custom option then click on next and then put a check on the box which says perform a clean installation and then once done restart your computer and after the system restart launch the game and then check still not working now md card user first of all uninstall the current graphic card driver restart your computer go to md website select your graphic card install the latest graphic card driver restart your computer and then check next step is to run the game on dedicated graphic card now for this type in graphic settings in windows search box and then click on graphic settings now click on add microsoft store app and then find the game in the list here you can see the game click on the game once the game is added now click on the game and over here select high performance you will see your graphic card over here now you can launch the game now desktop users make sure that you connect your monitor to the dedicated graphic card like connect the connect the sd sdmi cable or the dis display cable to the dedicated graphic card slot now the next step is to turn on or turn off hardware accelerated gpu scheduling now for then for this type in graphic settings in windows search box and then click on graphic settings and over here click on advanced graphic settings and if hardware accelerated gpu scheduling if this is off turn it on and if this is already on you can turn it off check which one is working fine for you next step is to try power saver mode now for this type in control panel in windows search box click on control panel go to hardware and sound and then go to sound uh, sorry go to power options go to power options and then over here you will see power saver you can select power saver and then relaunch the game you can even go for balanced or high performance but first of all try power saver and then check still not working the next step is to install visual c++ file copy this link the link is provided in the video description open this link in a browser it will take you to microsoft website scroll down here you can see visual studio files you have to download this x86 and x64 so run both the exe file download x86 and x64 and then you can run both the exe file that is x86 and if you see the repair option click on repair if you see the install button hit install run this x64 file as well and again if you see repair option click on repair if you see the install button hit install and once installed now restart your computer and after the system restart you can launch the game and then check still not working the next step is to unplug all the external devices which you are not using so if you have hotas wheel pedals any kind of usb adapter if you have citrix workspace running close it disconnect extra controller connected to the computer and any kind of usb adapter extra controller disconnected disconnect uh, disable overlay like if you have any other overlay application like discord running discord uh, good discord settings turn off overlay if you have nvidia app running you can go to nvidia app settings turn off nvidia overlay do not overclock if you have overclocked set it to default close all the overclocking application like msi after minor revert inner if you have any third party application or services running close it if you have undervolted a computer remove the undervolt and then launch the game next step is to increase the virtual memory now for this type in view advanced system settings and then click on view advanced system settings 
click on the first settings under advanced and then go to advanced tab click on change over here uncheck this box put a check on custom size over here so you have to select the drive where the game is installed and then select custom over here for initial size 1.5 multiply total ram you can check total ram in your in windows settings you can go to system and then you can go to about and in my case it's a 16 gigabyte so you have to calculate as per your ram so in my case it's 16 gigabyte so 16 multiplied 1024 that is in megabyte total ram in megabyte and then multiplied 1.5 for initial size that is 24576 245 24576 now for maximum size is 3 multiplied total ram 16 gigabyte in my case multiplied 1024 multiplied 3 that is 49152 49152 total ram uh, maximum size now click on set and then set is important so make sure that you click on set and then click on ok re now launch the game if that does not work re restart you can be and then check again if that does not work type in view advanced settings, system settings once again settings advanced change and this time you can select system manage size and then click on set ok ok apply ok ok and then restart your computer and then check if that does not work we will just set it to default so you can go to settings once again advanced change and this time put a check over here and we will set it to default ok ok follow the next step now the next step is to update the BIOS so go to your system manufacturer website select your model number and update the BIOS in case of laptop make sure battery is more than 10 percent and the AC adapter is connected to the computer when you update the BIOS now next step is to install all updates in Microsoft Store so open Microsoft Store on your computer go to downloads and then click on check for update and then you will see update all options so update everything once everything is updated now you can launch the game and then check still not working update windows to the latest version for this open windows settings windows update click on check for update once all the updates are installed then restart your computer after the system restart you can check still not working run this command this command is provided in the video description copy this type in power set in windows search box and then make a right click on windows power set and then make sure that you run this as an administrator click on yes to allow paste the command over here hit the enter key now uh, let the process complete this process will take some time and during this process you will see some errors in red color so if you see errors like this just ignore it let the process complete once this is complete you will see everything red and then you can close it restart your computer next step is to install xbox identity provider so copy this link the link is provided in the video description on this link click on download and it will prompt you to open microsoft store so click on open microsoft store and if there is update option or install option or get option you can install it in my case it is already installed next step is to uninstall and reinstall gaming services so copy the first command this command is provided in the video description type in power Save in windows search box make a right click on windows power Save. make sure that you run this as an administrator only click on yes to allow paste the command hit the enter key this will uninstall gaming services from your computer once done now copy the second command paste it on the same window hit the enter key this will open store now click on install over here or get option and click on yes to allow and let the gaming services be installed once this is completely installed once it is 100% installed then you have to relaunch xbox app so once this is done only then you open xbox app you have to uh, yeah now you can click on update now if you if you see update now you relaunch xbox app and then check now the last step is to uninstall and reinstall the game to different drive so if nothing is working you can go to xbox app click on your profile icon and then go to settings go to install option if the game is installed to d drive or e drive or any external drive try to install the game to c drive and then check if the game is already installed then you can if you have any other drive you can select other drive and try to install the game to other drive and then check so one of the steps shown in this video should help you to run this game successfully on your windows computer so that'll be all thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel